In today's video, we will recreate email template by Figma using Figma and export this email template as a code using Marka Email Generator Figma plugin. All links will be in the description to this file and to the plugin, or you can find this file into the Figma community. So let's get started. First, run the plugin, then create a new project. When you click on the create new project, plugin creates a new MT auto layout frame. Let's update width of our project. And then let's start with first logo and image block. In the plugin, you can find assets tab, and in the assets, you can find a builder section. Here, you can find a couple of basic blocks which you can use for building emails. So first, let's start with one column and another one column block. First for logo and second for image. I, I select image, command C, then pass the image into the our slot container block. And then do the same with the image. Next, it's a simple text block with button. One column. I select the text and make sure you set fill container for a text object. Also, you can adjust some paddings. In our example, um, text has bigger padding than image. Let's update it. To do so, let's select a one column container, then go to the right sidebar in auto layout settings and update padding here. Next, it's, it's a button. To add a button, select you can use blocks section. It's a button. Let's update alignment for the button and uh, button style. After that, we can add a space between text and button. To do so, let's select our slide container, then update button. The next thing is to create a list of speakers for the config. So I, I have uh, an assets here. Let's du duplicate one of them. And it's a complex structure because it has three lines of text, text, image on the left, and the first line of text has icon. So let's recreate this structure using auto layout. First, let's select a container for text and image. To do so, select both of them and then click shift a and after that for text set fill container with setting and then let's create a container for these three items first second and third and create it and create another uh, auto load container for it cre and creates a vertical Container for these three items. Fill container and set fill container for each text. And using a fill container, you all your text will work fine on different sizes. And then select image and our text block and click Shift A. And after clicking Shift A, Figma creates new auto layout horizontal auto layout container and set for text objects at fill container and image should have fixed size and let's set horizontal alignment and let's set vertical alignment for text and image and then create a copy of these items and create Select all of them and create one more auto layout container for these blocks. Shift A. Now we have new auto layout vertical container. And make sure all children of this container have fill container with setting. As you can see, this will work fine on the mobile layout. And let's create a new slot container for this block in our template to do so. Let's run the plugin. 
drag and drop a new one column block, then command C, command V, set fill container and update horizontal padding. And the last block, it's a text, so let's put another one column container, update text inside, and text alignment and horizontal spacing. And let's put another full width image, fill container for this image, and then let's create a footer. Footer, it will be one more one column, one column container, couple of text blocks, and you can use links, social icons, for example, or you can drop social icons from layout block. And set fill container for all text items. And update center alignment for the icons. And vertical spacing. And text alignment. Okay, now we have email. Let's click on the select email and click on the preview button and see how it works. As you can see, everything works fine. And the mobile version. Let's update a vertical spacing between these five speakers. To do so, let's select a container frame of these five speakers and go to the right sidebar and update vertical settings, vertical spacing. And then click on the reload button. And it seems like we, we can update a horizontal alignment for these blocks to make to Make sure image will go to the top, not in the center. To do so, let's select a block, then change auto level settings, origin to top. Click on the preview button, update, and now this is how it works. Now it's time to check how it will work on different email clients. To do so, click on the export section, then copy me email code, copy, and this is how our template will look on different email clients, for example, Outlook, everything works fine, and Outlook dark mode, make sure your image, your logo has white background, so this way you will have our logo will be visible and mobile versions an iPhone and Gmail this is how it works I hope it will help you to build cool emails thank you for watching